Okay, so I've got my gear and I have my engine. And I've got my condenser and my or my condenser and my boiler over here kind of set up. And um, for the boiler, you could probably make this entirely out of metal and put a fire under it somehow, some way. Um, just kind of do some kind of design work underneath the uh, the boiler and um, you can either use torches or, or any other stand type uh, fire based lantern type setup <clears throat> but I made this gear um, and basically I want to put a piston on this thing and I also want to connect this up somehow to the ground so it literally it's not like freestanding here and um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the top of this gear and we'll get the width of it, of this little section that I've created. I'll bring it down to the floor and let's bring this out just a hair. Don't want it up against it or it's going to end up messing up my, my circle there. But We'll make this like two or three voxels thick and let's fill this in with like a concrete. And I think that'll do for that side. Now I want to fill this space in as well and uh, so let's find out what my thickness of this is. Stand up so, so we got a roughly like a six voxel or a four voxel actually I think the four voxel will probably uh, fit in that a lot easier so let's go back over to this board and I'm gonna grab this four voxel circle because I do not have a four voxel circle over on my on my stack so let's bring this back over here I'm gonna make a pillar out of it just uh, do a vertical, or excuse me, <coughs> need to rotate, <coughs> excuse me, rotate this on to the side here, and Got to get this thing vertical. I'm gonna make this uh, probably around 10, 15 voxels in height, um, which will should do perfectly for what it is that I'm trying to accomplish. Just make this quite long, and that should do pretty close. Any extra that I have, I can always chop off. And let's go ahead and paint this with a metal. See the copy. I'm gonna pop that right in the center of this, uh, just for that that center piece of it, which is kind of what I'm after. Try to get this thing centered up. Shift click. I want this thing to, to kind of protrude through at the same time, so I think that's going to be perfect. And we're pretty much lined up on it now. And let's go ahead and click it's actually sitting on it. It pulled it in on certain points, but it didn't pull it in on the other, which is kind of weird. And um, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and fill this in with our with putty voxels, um, just for the sake of it. I've already got this set up for putty voxels and uh, there is a video for those as well. Let's come back over here, control V, and let's take this in right along those little sections that 
it's abandoning and not wanting to fill up. Aw, uh, he looks like a little insane drunken angel. Numbly does it. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for the follow. But if you haven't figured out what we're doing, we're actually making a like steampunk type uh, engine and piping and gears and all that kind of stuff. And let me get back over to my normal. I'm going to go ahead and paint all these putty voxels. That fit pretty darn well. And we're actually coming through on the other side on this looking really good. And it's all hollow, so you can actually see all the way through it here. Now, so I've got pretty much where I need to be on this, so. Uh, he looks like a little insane drunken angel. Maria Loli, thanks for the follow. I, I think I'm getting raided. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I. I um, Jimmy gave me that link uh, earlier there, Sango. I'm going to copy this in little piece right here because I'm going to need it here in a moment. I'm going to grab this back section of this selection and push it back so that I just have just a section of that done. I'm going to hit delete. Oh, I got lucky. It didn't ruin it. <laughs> Alright, so it's all smooth now and it's really kind of close to oh, our gear here looks like a little insane drunken angel countess thanks for the follow now the next thing I'm gonna do here now that I've got my primary gear mounted to something we've got to attach and start working on the actual piston so um, having something that it can connect to so I'm going to come back over here to my, my microvoxel board. I'm going to grab this little nub once more. Control copy. And let's come back over here. Kind of zoom in a little bit. Control V to paste. I'm going to come right here to one of these meeting points right here and hopefully it won't destroy this too badly. In the process, let's pull this out and let's paste it without air and see what she does. And it pulls on it quite a bit, so let's see if we can clean that up. It's going to kind of distort my little circle here, but um, I don't think there's really too much way to get around that. Uh, when you're making your gear, you can probably make this section a little bit bigger, and um, that should actually solve that problem. <clears throat> Just making this inner ring a little bit bigger so you can actually plant this in, and uh, that'll be in your little neck of the woods of uh, your uh, gear creation. Let's go ahead and try to clean it up just a little. Let's see if I can clean it up here. I think that'll do pretty good. Let's grab this inside one there and see if this will clean this one up a little bit more. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Now let's control V to paste it one more time and we'll stack that on top of the other one. bring this out quite a bit of a distance so we can have plenty of playroom. I think i have looking pretty good right there. Now let's grab this control copy. I'm going to paste this one right on top of that one. have to come out just a little bit more. So let's go ahead and paste another one right on top of that one. So we know we've got the thickness that we're looking for. There we go. 
All right, so basically this is our connection point for the piston. And um, let's go ahead and grab these four. Control copy, control V to paste, and I'm gonna paste this right in there and right there. So we have like the nub coming out and it's all equally spaced on this. So <clears throat> with that, let me grab another copy of that little small cylinder and this is going to be the the primary connection point for this cylinder um, that's going to make the connection and actually make it look like it's doing the work so let's come over here control V to paste tilty rotate tilty put it in order bring it out I'm just going to make a long beam out of this So, and that should pretty much get me to where I want to be. Now, let's go back to this, and we're going to copy that circle again. As you can tell, it is a 4x4 four four cylinder. And I'm going to control V, paste, tilty, rotate, tilty put it down into position like so and we're going to stack this pretty much in a straight line just about get me where I need to be. Alright, I'm going to take this little selection here, control copy, control V to paste, and let's go ahead and put this right back over where it was before. Kind of squeeze that little section to where it's a little bit thinner and so it don't look like it's so fat. <coughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and block finish up this end. I am going to copy this whole section that I've created on the other end. Control copy. Control V to paste. Merit. I'm going to try to line this up on this other end, like so, and check. A little bit of distortion. Let's see if we can fix that. Good, looks good. All right, so now we have our little piston for our little steampunk adventure here. And uh, we need something to connect these ends off um, for the piston. Let me zoom in here a little bit more. I'm going to copy this one. Control copy, Control V to paste. Let's drop this down and we're going to make this a little bit thicker on this end. I'm going to mount this to something. So let's grab this top. I'm going to pull this out on both ends. Drag this all the way down to the ground. Make it a little bit thicker, make it about three voxels. 
and let's make that metal. Somebody just entered my TeamSpeak channel. Let me see who this is. What's up, Brave? <clears throat> Had my volume turned down. Sorry about that. Again, make it a little bit thin, thicker on that. Somebody dropped in on me. It's Rave! So, there we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and make a base. I already kind of screwed up, put a voxel there, so let's go ahead and make it into a base. Might as well, might as well. Alright, let's get back up here. I'm going to select that section one more time. Control copy, and I'm going to replace these uh, sections that are kind of popping out on me. So there we go. We have a piston that is connecting to a gear. We have an engine. We have a condenser. And I can't get my camera to go where I want to. So, like I said, we got an engine over here. We've got a condenser.